What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's Daniel, and welcome back to the video. Today, I'll be taking a look at the starting lineup for the 2024 Enjoy Illinois 300 at Gateway. Let's go ahead and just jump straight into it. Starting on the poll, we have 2021 Daytona 500 winner and the winner of the Indy Road Course last season, Michael McDowell, a 34 car for Front Row Motorsports. And starting in second position, we have 2022 Daytona 500 winner and 2020 NASCAR Xfinity Series champion Austin Rick in a two car for Team Penske. Starting in third position, we have 2023 NASCAR Cup Series champion Ryan Blinney in the 12 car for Team Penske. And starting in fourth position, we have the winner of the Coco 600 last week and also 2017 NASCAR Craftsman Truck champion Christopher Bell in the 20 car for Joe Gibbs Racing. Starting in fifth position, we have two-time NASCAR Xfinity champion Ty Reddick in the 45 car for 2311. And starting in sixth position, we have three-time Daytona 500 winner Denny Hamlin in the 11 car for JGR. Starting in seventh position, we have the winner of Darlington earlier this year and 2012 NASCAR Cup champion Brad Gazowski in his sixth car for RFK Racing. And starting in eighth position, we have Bubba Wallace in a 23 car for 2311 Racing with the McDonald scheme. Starting in ninth position, we have 2022 NASCAR Xfinity champion Ty Gibbs in the 54 car for Joe Gibbs Racing. And starting in 10th position, we have two-time NASCAR Cup champion and the winner at Gateway last year, Kyle Busch in the A car for Richard Childress Racing. Starting in 11th position, we have 2017 NASCAR Xfinity champion and winner of the Daytona 500 2024, William Byron, 24 car for Hendrick Motorsports. And starting in 12th position, we have the winner of Gateway in 2022 and two-time cup champion Joe Logano in the 22 car for Team Penske. Starting in 13th position, we have 2021 NASCAR Cup champion and driver competing in the Indy 500 last week, Kyle Larson, the five car for Hendrick Motorsports. And starting in 14th position, we have Alex Bowman in the 48 car for Hendrick Motorsports. Starting in 15th position, we have Corley Joyner, a seven car for Spire Motorsports. And starting in 16th position, we have Ross Chassain in the one car for Trackhouse Racing. Starting in 17th position, we have 2020 NASCAR Cup champion Chase Selling in the 9 car for Hendrick Motorsports. And starting in 18th position, we have Xfinian Truck champion and winner of the Daytona 500 2018, Austin Dillon in the 3 car for Richard Childress Racing. Starting in 19th position, we have 2017 NASCAR Cup champion Mark Chuck Jr. in the 19 car for Joe Gibbs Racing. And starting in 20th position, we have Carson Ospar in the 77 car for Spire Motorsports who made his debut at this race last year. Starting in 21st position, we have Justin Haley in the 51 car for Rick Ware Racing. And starting in 22nd position, we have 2015 NASCAR Craftsman Truck Champion and two-time Southern 500 winner Eric Jones in the 43 car for Legacy Motor Club. Starting in 23rd position, we have Chase Briscoe in the 14 car for Stuart Haas Racing. And starting in 24th position, we have two-time NASCAR Xfinity Champion and 2023 Daytona 500 winner Ricky Sinos Jr. in the 47 for JTG Doherty. Starting in 25th position, we have Derek Krause in the 16 car for Colleg Racing. And starting in 26th position, we have 2015 NASCAR Xfinity Champion Chris Buescher in the 17 car for RFK Racing. Starting in 27th position, we have Noah Grayson in the 10 car for Stuart Haas Racing. And starting in 28th, we have 2021 NASCAR Xfinity Champion Dale Hemmerich in the 31 car for Colleg Racing. Starting in 29th position, we have Josh Berry in the 4 car for Sewer Haas Racing. And starting in 30th position, we have Harrison Burton in the 21 car for the Wood Brothers. Starting in 31st position, we have 2016 NASCAR Xfinity Champion and the winner of Atlanta earlier this year, Daniel Suarez in the 99 car for Trackhouse. And starting in 32nd position, we have Ryan Priest in the 41 car for Sewer Haas Racing. Starting in 33rd position, we have John Hernemacek in the 42 car for Legacy Motor Club. And starting in 34th position, we have Cody Ware in the 15 car for Ricker Racing, making a second start of 2024. Starting in 35th position, we have Todd Gillen in the 38 car for Front Row Motorsports. And starting in 36th and last, we have 2022 NASCAR Craftsman Truck Champion Zane Smith in the 71 car for Spire Motorsports slash Trackhouse Racing. So that is the starting lineup for the 2024 Enjoy Illinois 300. Track position is going to be very generally key, and we're also going to see a lot of Fords and Toyotas and maybe a couple Chevys up front going for the victory. We'll also be looking to see Colleg get their second win of the weekend. As remember, they won with Shane Van Gisbergen this past weekend at Portland. So that is going to be for the starting lineup video for the 2024 Enjoy Illinois 300 at Gateway slash Worldwide Technology. 
want to thank guys for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. The notifications on so if I win a video does go live on my channel. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, and support me on Patreon as well. Let's go to the bar that comment your thoughts below on today's video. Who's your pick to win the Cup Series race later today at Gateway? Let me know your pick in the comments below. I will be a Gateway later this afternoon, so if you see me at the track, stop by and say hello. And also, you also will see a video on a burnout on who goes to victory lane. Then Monday morning, like you will see a silly season predictions video for 2025. And I've got a couple other big videos dropping this week as well, and there'll likely be an Ask Your News video dropping on Tuesday. Tuesday. So anyways, like I said, I want to thank I was watching today's episode, and I'll see you guys next time for more great awesome NASCAR content and other motorsports content on the channel like this. Take care, everybody.